have uh, Flo in Charlottesville, Virginia. Mm -hmm. She is calling in to thank you for all the money you gave her. Wait, whoa, wait. Flo, did I give her money? Yes. How did I give her money? I don't even know Flo. Because. Oh, you know, I used to have a grandma Flo. This isn't her. Okay. She was reading through your emails. You have a couple people that subscribe to your emails. Just about 40 million. Right, that's all. And she saw a an, an, uh, story about seeing if there's money out there connected to your name. Okay, that was a tip of the day that we put out this past week. It's actually a tip that we refresh every year. Uh, and that there are actually seven different ways that you could have unclaimed money. And so this is money that that's yours. Maybe it's a, a security deposit, uh, utility deposit, whatever. Maybe money from a pension or an old 401k or whatever. And there, you know, and the government's actually trying to find you. And she wants to thank you for her money. How much did she get? She doesn't know exactly because some of the resources don't list. If it's over a certain amount. Oh, really? That's the reason? Yeah, because they're afraid, like, scammers are going to... So two of the three that she found, they're not listing the amount. So she could be, like, a millionaire. A gazillionaire. A billionaire. I think that's less than a gazillion. I think you're right. Okay. Flo. My new friend, Flo. <laughs> Kim, Kim, my, my goddess Kim. <laughs> so, and if I am a gazillionaire, I will become a sponsor of your show. Thank you, Flo. And a reasonable <laughs> woman at that. So so that was so cool. So you just typed in your name and then it came up with I, three different places? I have to tell you, I just did it for the fun of it. I wasn't expecting my name to come up. And it came up three different places in other states that I've lived in. Um one was for $114, you know, a small amount. Sure. But, hey, I'm I'm excited about that. It may actually see what happens with the other two. I may have, have enough to buy a new phone. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on your newfound wealth. Yes. <laughs> okay. That was with the missingmoney.com site. <laughs> yes. And, uh, years ago, you helped me pick out a, pick out the iPad that I that I ended up choosing, but um, and I'm still using it. But I really appreciate it, and I'm so glad, and I just wanted to call and thank you for that. Well, I'm good. So now, are you going to use the money to buy a phone? I'm going to have to use it. Well, I've had a cracked screen for, it'll be two years in November. Oh, so my I think gosh. It's time. It's what kind, time. What kind of phone is it? Um, an LG little insignificant phone, but it's time for me to grow up and get, you know, get something that's more app-worthy. Yeah, it is. It's time for you to. It's time for you to move forward. I mean, you know, especially. Come on, Flo. I mean, you can't be. You can't be a, a subscriber to the newsletter and caller to the show. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's almost like you're an embarrassment to us. I mean, that's what you know. I'll, I'll, I will get a new phone. So do you know what you, you know what you're going to get yet? I have no idea. All right. Well, a couple of things you might want to look at. I mean, of course, you know, there's the iPhone, and we've got the XS and the the Seven Plus is actually a good buy right now, but. Since you're the type of gal who likes to hold on to things, like, you know, you probably still have your shoes from the 70s, is I that... <laughs> I knew you did. I just <laughs> knew it. I knew you did. They're, they're black sequins. I wear them once every three years. <laughs> what can you say? I know. I was, I was looking at some boots that I have, and I thought, you know what, they're out of style, but I still like them. I can't help it. Uh, but, you know, of course, you've got the Google Pixel 3, the Samsung Galaxy. You know, it, and a lot of this depends upon how you're going to use the phone. And if you find yourself like you said, being app worthy and start using all these apps is that if you're an Android, take, you know, of course, you're going to stick with Android. And then if you're mm -hmm. Apple, you know, take a look at uh, take a look at the iPhones. We have some smartphone comparison charts up on the site and you might want to check those out. And for those of you who you have not, you know, checked your name to see if there's something that you could be finding online as far as missing money. We've got that tip over at commando.com. That's K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com.